Thank you, Lindsay. And joining us here this morning is Greg Riley, of mm -hmm. course. And today we have Moppet, who's yeah. also a returning member here. Yeah, she's quite becoming a little star here. So she is a little star. She's yes. a little diva, but we love her. Yes. Well, one of the, what are one of the things that you want to talk about today? Uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit of scientific. Uh, expert on the, uh, the whole pet saver thing. So what we're going to be talking about is tapeworms, which I know is not really a very interesting topic to talk about so early in the morning. But the biggest complaint that most veterinarians here or their staff members is why tapeworms occur and how do you get rid of them? And they can be a pain to get right. rid of. They can be. They're difficult. They're difficult. Uh, I mean, it's relatively easy to deworm a dog. But the biggest thing is that, you know, what I'll hear is that I'm seeing worms in my dog and when I do a test on them, I'm not seeing anything. And when I tell the client that, it really makes them frustrated of, well, why are you not seeing these worms when, you know, obviously I am. Yeah. So how tapeworms occur is gonna be really different compared to say roundworms, hookworms, and whipworms. A tapeworm is actually caused by fleas. And okay. what happens is that we have a little segment right here for us to show um, of a tapeworm. Now this is what picture that I took uh, just with my iPhone as I'm looking in the microscope. And this is an actual tapeworm. And inside this tapeworm are many tapeworm eggs. Oh. Okay, and what happens is that when a dog or a cat uh, goes to the bathroom and a tapeworm is on there, <clears throat> a flea will jump off of the dog or the cat and will start munching on that tapeworm segment. Now, a tapeworm can be really long. It's attached to the small intestine, and it breaks off in small little segments, and that's what you see. Or a lot of people will say, I'm seeing white rice, you know, in my dog's So it kind of still looks, stuff. it looks like a worm or right. rice. Right, okay. exactly. So what happens is that the flea will ingest this tiny little egg right here, and then after a while, the flea will get bored and will jump back on the dog or the cat and cause a nuisance. The dog or the cat will start chewing on themselves and will accidentally ingest the flea. Oh, okay. Okay. The flea will travel down, obviously, into the stomach where the flea will die, okay? But these eggs right here will hatch inside the dog or the cat, and that's how the weird cycle keeps going. Okay. Now, if people want to, first ways to prevent this is mm -hmm. to do flea protection. Right, absolutely. I mean, flea protection, uh, especially this time of the year, is going to be really high. What I would recommend is a high priority. And a lot of people will say, well, it's winter time. You know, but they're in your house right now because it's warm. So that's why I recommend, you know, if you want to bomb your house, this is really the right time to do it. And I always say in Tara, we have lots of stray cats or dogs, mm -hmm. and if they're running around your neighborhood, they're going to share it to your indoor pets. Absolutely, you know, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, it could be chipmunks, squirrels, you know, anything that comes into your yard, they're still going to find a way to get inside your house. So if your dog already has tapeworms, right. what's one way that we can fix it, and how much is it going to cost you? Uh, it really depends. Uh, a lot of people will say, well, I'm just going to go to Rural King or Graham Grain. Those medications don't exist there. You have to really go to your veterinarian to it. Um, <clears throat> there's anything from Dronset, which works really well, but Dronset could be very expensive, to Iverheart, which is just a real simple generic uh, version of HeartGuard, and that'll take care of it at relatively easy and inexpensive. All right. Well, thanks for sharing with us, Greg. You know, spring's around the corner. Indeed. And we have to worry about things like that with our loving mm -hmm. pets. And Moppa here is just having a ball today. <laughs> She's pretty lazy. Well, as we had to break, if you have any questions for Greg Riley, you can take a number, take a look at the number here on your screen. You can reach out to him if you have any questions.